If you're watching this video, you missed something pretty huge. And that's all right, a lot of people do. So here's what we want to do right now. Let's get yourself into a state of calm, a state of openness, and a state of being willing to think about the world differently from how you think, think about it right now. I want you to imagine right now a little kid who believes in Santa Claus. How do you think of that little kid? Well, at the basic level, you think that that kid's beliefs are wrong, but at a deeper level, that kid lives in a different reality, a prettier reality, but a less real reality. And if that kid was suddenly in an adult's body doing adult things, that kid would have a very difficult time. He'd be constantly taken, ad of, taken advantage of. He would be constantly tricked because he is living in a world far softer and prettier and nicer than the real one. The same thing can happen to anybody. If right now you're living in a world in which you believe that people primarily write things and do things just to share information, you're going to end up spending a lot of your life getting lied to, tricked, and manipulated. Most people write with an agenda. When they're writing even things that are supposed to be neutral, for example, newspaper articles are supposed to be neutral, they just never actually are. People have their own agendas, and they're always going to try to push those agendas. Now, the people who are amateurs, who are not very good at convincing people, they're going to make their agendas obvious. They're going to say, here's my opinion, let me tell you why it's right. That's what amateur persuaders do. But people who are really good at persuasion, they're not going to do that at all. They're going to say, I'm just going to tell you some true stories about America, Germany, Florida, take your pick. They're going to say, here's some true facts about chemistry, biology, physics, and they're going to present it as something totally neutral because they want you to trust it. They want you to believe what they're saying. In reality, they're only pretending to be neutral. In reality, they're actually trying to persuade you of something. Now, it might not be super obvious right away what they're trying to persuade you of. Somebody who's writing an article about the economic situation in Greece might be arguing either in favor of or against socialism. They might be arguing in favor of or against travel. They might be arguing in favor of or against the importance of military strength. It could be anything. That's going to be kind of hidden in there. But they're not going to just be saying, here is some neutral information. That is simply never done. That's not a thing that really happens. Imagine for a moment somebody walks into a car sale, to a car lot to buy a car. And the salesman comes up and says, here's some information about this car. Only a totally naive person would possibly believe that the salesman is just saying, oh, here's some information neutral about this car because I want to share information about cars. Anyone with any basic world sense would say, okay, the, the salesman is trying to convince me to buy this car. That's why he's sharing the information. This is something you already know how to do. You already know that in a lot of areas, people might pretend to be neutral, but in reality, they're trying to convince you of something. The same is going to happen in basically 100% of writing and speaking. People will come across as neutral, but they're going to have some agenda, something they're trying to convince you of. So with that in mind, let's go back, let's go back and attack the rest of this worksheet.